Hello everybody, happy Friday. So today I'm popping in the studio to share this newest art journal. I didn't think I was actually gonna have it done in time this week. I thought it was gonna be uh, something that I've finished over the weekend, but I've been actually in the studio uh, early this morning. So I was diving right into this and, and managed to finish it. So I'm super excited for this to share it with you and the fact that I was able to, to list it in my website already so soon. As you can tell from my hands, <laughs> um, I've already been playing with charcoal and all that fun stuff here. So I've been making splatters and everything like that. So I always get really uh, messy and dirty when I get when I start doing splatter work. But look what the end result was on the under page. This was like the paper that was like on my table while I was adding splatters. Isn't that nice? Isn't that pretty? I love that. So that's going to be like collage. I might take a piece of this actually and add it as collage, an extra collage thing inside this journal here. Um, yeah, so that, you know, whoever whoever ends up buying this can, can have, you know, rip it up and cut it up and do whatever they want with it for some collage art. So anyway, let's dive into this. So I had kind of mentioned it before about how this uh, journal came to be. I was playing around with some junk mail, like envelopes from junk mail that I that I got. And because I, I keep the envelopes, I keep lots of things, I keep everything. So and I, if you've, you know, been watching my videos for a while, you know, I don't usually reference my art journals as junk journals. I mean, I understand the, the term behind it. And, you know, to each their own for those who call their journals that they make junk journals. Um, for me personally, I don't like to call my, my art journals junk journals because, you know, it just, I don't know, I don't like the name junk. <laughs> Be attached to something that I, you know, took a lot of thought and care into, into making. However, having said that, I can actually call this one junk journal and say it comfortably because it really is that. I The cover of this journal is actually made from an envelope that I got for as junk mail. So I was playing around with it one day and like earlier this week and yeah and I'm like I started adding collage bits on it and I had I added a bit of this old postcard on it and everything. I was just playing around with it. And I thought honestly that it was just going to end up that I was working on something that was just going to be a, a paper, a page inside of an art journal. But I was looking at it and I'm like, no, you know what? This can, this can be a journal cover. Why not? So that's what it is. <laughs> I've made a whole journal out of it. So I'm so happy with this. I love the grunginess of it. I love that it was made out of starting from an old envelope and it's got some other old details on it, like this old from 1970s, what the date says on here, um, a postcard from someone named Liz to someone named Liz. So anyway, yeah, so let's dive in and, and let me share this with you. And like I said, it is available on my website um, if you click on the shop link at the top of my website, uh, it will take you to a page that has all the categories and just click on art journals and it'll take you right to it. Okay, so diving in. So like I said, it's got all sorts of little um, little collage bits on it from there's part of the old envelope. I left this here like this because I love this little detail of the ripped up when I ripped it open. <laughs> it originally came in the mail. Um, but you know, if you don't like that, you can either cut it off or you can just fold it within inside of the journal and tuck it out. But I, I like it. I like that element of that being there just to me because it, it looks like more like it was an envelope. Um, and like I said, there's an old postcard here and a coupon thing here um, and some other little collage bits and everything like that. And I obviously left a little bit of the original envelope right there with this, the stamp from the post office. And then the back is like this. This you can actually, um, it's not too flexible, but you can squeeze something inside the envelope if you wanted something peeking through the, um, the window here on the envelope. So that's up to you. The closure is just two grommets with some, um, what do you call that? Butcher string, kitchen string that I just dyed with some acrylic ink. So that's just nicely tied in there. And then there's some embellishments here on the side with some string, like some yarn and some more of that butcher 
kitchen string. I don't remember what it's called. Then you got this cute little mini tassel and some fun beads. I love these beads. I like the bling. Let me just show you here if I can get it to stay here. So it's on a loopy pin. I call those loopy pins. I don't know what the correct term is. Um, but so there's a string of beads. So little flower. I just got these. These little flower beads. So pretty. I love it. Look how they sparkle. So hopefully you can see that. Like it's showing up. So I want to make sure that the colors are so pretty. And I want to make sure the colors are showing. So that's all on there. Okay. So let's just dive in. I get sidetracked by beads. I love beads. I love going to the bead store. Okay, so we get inside, and the other part of that postcard is here. And then I added a little grungy tag here. And that's just kind of peeking up there. So here's the flap of that envelope. So like I said, you can just fold it inside itself like that if it bothers you being out like that. So all the pages, like with all my journals, they're made from a variety of different papers, different mediums, taken from different places like old books, magazines, music sheets, rice paper, old ledger paper, all that sort of thing. And then of course my own um, hand painted collage papers or under papers, like this one here I was showing. That all ends up in here. And lots of splatters, because I like making them grungy. Just gonna flip through this. I love the colors on here. So if you're ever looking in my website and you see a journal that you like, now I can only show so many photos of, of what's inside the journals on my website because you know sometimes these these paid these these art journals I make you know, most of the time I have over 50 pages and I can't show a photo on each page. So that would be, uh, yeah, no, <laughs> I can't do it. So if you're ever interested in wanting to uh, see what, you know, it'll look, uh, any one of my journals on my website look like completely, just hop on over here to my YouTube channel and I have a video flip through of every single one of my journals. And typically what I do is I always take a picture of the cover of the journal. So both in for the website and for the cover of the video. So just look for the cover um, for the photo of, of that journal in the list of videos on my YouTube channel. And then that'll tell you right there that that video is for that particular journal. Okay, so my pages are typically always hand sewn. I use wax thread to sew the pages to the journal cover so they're nice and secure. However, what I did here was I also used this fun green yarn here. Since it was already there just to act as an embellishment, I just tucked some additional scrap papers in here so it's nicely loose in there so you can just easily pull it out and use them, um, use any one of these papers as, you know, for your art, for collage art. And this flips up like that. And like I said, I am going to add a bit of this to this loose, uh, loose stash here. Some dyed fabric scrap I had. There's some rice paper. This is, um, they call it vellum. Old book pages, you can tell from the yellowing of the aging of the paper. This is um, tissue from the old pattern. Um, this is an envelope, so it's a little pocket. I tuck things inside. And there we go, and that's the back of the journal. 
And there you have it. So like I said, this is now on my website at thepaintedwitchstudio.com. So you can head on over there and check it out. Get Check out all the details or if you wanted to purchase it. Um, I'm also going to be adding, or by the time this video is uploaded to YouTube, I will also have added uh, a new pair of earrings that I finished yesterday. So those are on there too. So be sure to check that out too. If you're interested in a unique, one of a kind artisan jewelry, I love making jewelry, especially earrings. Um, because I love beads. They're so pretty. <laughs> but anyway, have a fantastic day, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me in the studio and take care and have a fantastic weekend.